if I told you you've been using Templator all wrong? This video is for people who have been playing around with Templator and understands the value of creating templates for sentences that you don't want to type every single time when you want to mention it on a note. So this could be watching a video, inserting a link, any type of metadata attached to that, or just normal sentence that you don't want to type out each and every time. For that, you create a template note, or there's a couple of other plugins that you can use to autocomplete certain strings. But for our case, let's assume that you have templates and you have a lot of different templates. You have log exercise and on a specific day when you go exercise and you do app crunches, you don't want to type all of this. So instead what you do is when we open a new note, let just leave it as untitled to press Alt E and you say log crunch exercise crunches and then it automatically inserts it for you and you can say 30 app crunches. Great. It works fine. Only hindrance is that it's clogging up everything. There's no need to have a hundred notes here. And we would have a template for each and every one. We have diamond push-ups, dumbbell rows, figure four crunches, lat pull downs, shoulder rope upright row, peak twists, and so on and so forth. So let's go to Excel. Draw. So are you still using templates like this? for one sentence inserts, lol, the industrial revolution called, am I right? Okay, so I want you to take that book, that old way of doing things. I want you to chuck it, but you first need to get some momentum and then you chuck it into the trash. Right, it's in the trash now. But as we know, we take previous ideas and we make something out of it. We are not gonna throw away a book because book is valuable. No trash is trash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So we're going to throw the trash away. Then we're going to take our trash. And we're going to repurpose it. We're going to modify it. We're going to make it better. And we're going to turn it into super musk. So all those separate notes that we have in our folder structure for all the different type of exercises can be condensed into one note and one query. And you can just go add another line to this query every time when you want to add a new exercise. What this looks like if we go out of Excel draw. So let's say the same thing. We want to log exercise app crunches with our new template. All that we do is we go to our log portal. So Alt E, and we're just going to say exercise, log exercise, this one. And now we have a list of all the exercises that we have inserted into that query. And we know we want a crunch. What type of crunch we want? We want a normal crunch. Now we have something very similar. Obviously it looks a little bit different because I modified a little bit, but what this basically does is the first one, it automatically went to the area where we want to add 30. Now I've assigned a hotkey that if I press Alt A, it goes to the second part where I specify it to go when I press Alt E. And yeah, just say it was a hard set to do while eating Mackey D's. Okay, so let's get into it. So what we want to do is we want to start reducing the number of log templates that we have. If we look at log coffee shop, cool. Log, we want this at experience coffee shop and how we would normally use it is we would go to today's date. So today's the 21st, let's create the 21st. And then under log, we want to say, hey, we went to a coffee shop and that's when you would go Alt E and you would type in coffee shop. So log coffee shop. And then we have a template without us having to type it out. Now it's a small thing, but it saves a lot of time if you do it quite a bit. And let's say we had, we watched the series, same thing, blog series. We don't have to type all of this out. One thing to approve on the structure is the TP file cursor code. And essentially what that does is when you paste or Alt E and you paste this template line in, it would automatically take your cursor to be this position first. And then when you press a specific hotkey that you assign, it would go to this position and then you can specify a third one, it would go then to this position. That just simplifies filling in this template templated row. Okay, so let's first work through setting up the plugins, the templated plugin in order to do that. And we'll go to actually reducing these number of logs and put similar logs into one file with if else or logic, which again, you don't have to understand. You just have to copy over. So step one, 
is to go to your templater code. So you need to make sure that you have the community plugin templater and TP file, so automatic jump to cursor. We want to switch this on. I'm not sure if this needs to be restarted, but we'll see. And what we'll then do is let's go with the series example. Here, what we're gonna do is we are going to paste position one. So what this code does is as soon as you paste it, it's gonna take a cursor there. And then we want a position two. Let's say we want to fill in the URL instead. And for this, we need to show that position two. So that looks good to me. So let's go to the back to the daily notes and let's remove this and then just do it again. And you can see what I mean. So log series, and there we see it automatically jumped in between the first specify area. And then this code is still here because we haven't pressed the hotkey in order to go to that second position. So there is no hotkey assigned yet, and that's something you need to do. So you go to settings, it would go to hotkey and just type in cursor. So Template uh, jump to the next cursor location. Alt tab does not work for me. And you can fill in anything that you want here. I'm just gonna say Alt A for no reason at all. We just, yeah, A. And then we'll see how it works. So again, delete it. Let's press Alt E after you have your bullet point inserted and log series. Cool. Now we say, what series is this that we're watching? We're watching the last of us. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the next position where we can actually insert the URL. Then what you normally need to do, you need to press the right key or you need to physically take your mouse and go there. And that sometimes is a little bit of hassle because you click before or right after, just not at the right spot. What you can do now is you can press control, not control, you can press alt A and that will automatically take you, when I put this way, automatically take you to the next position. So there we go. And www.addressyear.com. So that is the first little trick that we want to show. And now the next thing that we want to do is when we see that there is a lot of similar logs. So in this demo vault, we don't really have it, but let's assume that you have a log expense log here for different type of expenses or a more, a better example would be log exercise. So you have different workouts that you can do. So normally what you would have is you would have a template do, 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 do. you would have a template for different exercises. So let's just create a couple. So log exercise shoulder press. And then what you would do is you'll have something like this. So again, similar code, position one. And then you want it to be there because you're gonna say the number of shoulder presses that you did. So let's here say you did 30, but now you have another one. So let's say this is log exercise, exercise setups. And what did this would look like is exactly the same. And it looks exactly the same, but with two exercise or two exercises, it's fine. It's manageable. We can still see all the templates. But now you can imagine that we have log exercises, we have log experience, we have log expense, we have log reading, we have log book. We have, there's multiple versions of things that you're going to want to repeat, and you can go to a certain level of granularity. Meaning, if we have log exercise, you might have over time. Over a period of months, you might have 200 of these logs. Do you really want that to clutter up so many pages? Or do you just want to create a single query that you can just add to, meaning one page that has the exactly same effect as all of these logs? So it's going to take a little bit longer to set up, but the payoff is, is quite nice. So let's use these log exercise setups, log shoulder press. Let's assume that there's 500 different variations of it. And I just pulled one out for these two and show you how it works. And you can adapt it to whatever log system you want to apply to. So first things first, let's go to templates and let's insert a new load note. This one we're going to call log exercise. So just the parents category. And this is what the code would look like. Let's follow everything exactly. Like I always say, you don't really need to understand it. All you need to know is how to modify it. So we can see that we are building a list and Within this list, we only have two lines, and that is shoulder press and setups. And then in the body of the code, the if else logic, we also just have a row for top shoulders, which would then, if the user picks from the drop down list shoulder press, which we'll show in a second, it's going to return the log sequence that we want. Then if the user picks setups, then we have the next row of the coaches type setups and return this. So now we can see that if we want to add something, we can just add it here and then go and add another 
else if row. We'll also go through that in a second. Let's just first see if this works. So let's go back to our daily notes, make a little bullet point and then Alt E and log exercise. Let's enter. And then we see we have a drop down. So I can choose between shoulder press or setup. So let's press shoulder press. And we see, cool, we have that. Let's say we did 50 shoulder presses. Alt A for our hotkey to take it to the next cursor position. And then we said we went quite heavy with this lift. And then let's say after that, we did have exercise. So the log exercise and then we just say setups and the same thing we did a hundred and alt a easy light weight baby so now that we have that we can see that if we go back to log exercise there's only two let's say we want to add push-ups we need to put it in quotes so now that we have three items in our list we have to tell the code that hey if the user chooses push-ups, then we want it to return something related to push-ups. If you just keep it like this, what's going to happen is you're not going to, you're going to have the option for push-ups, but it's just going to enter the generic code because we didn't speci specify anything for push-ups yet. So log exercise. And if you go down to push-ups, it's just going to be log because the code went through the first line, did not see it's equal to push-ups. Went through the second line, did not see the type is equal to setup. So it went to the else. So now we just need to enter one in between. So just copy the last or second to last row, paste it, and everything stays the same except for setups becomes push-ups. Just remember caps, if you're using caps, that you keep the formatting the same. And then instead of the hashtag setups, we want hashtag push-ups because this is how, in a later video, I'll explain how to do a data view query that would basically pull in all the push-ups that you've ever done in your life or over a specific, a specified period. So now that we have push-ups, we can just go check if it works. So Alt E, log exercise, and then we go to push and works. Let's say we also did 100. Alt A to go to the second curse position. Chest pump, baby. So that is it. That is the cool trick that I want to show you today. And in upcoming videos, what I am planning to do is holding a data view query from this structure. So let's carry on with the exercise example, but you can think of this in the context of income and expense tracking as well that we will break up this log query into basically three different parts. So everything before the dash, everything in the middle between the dashes and everything after the dash. And then we'll basically take the first part and sum it. So then we can say, hey, Obsidian, go and find me all the logs that is specified shoulder press in it and show me how many shoulder presses I've done within this period. It's just a nice little way to keep track of your expenses, your income, or your exercise, or anything else you want to track. All right, that is what I wanted to show to you today. I am going to make a template available just for a couple of euros if you want to support the channel. Otherwise, just follow along with the video and I hope you get the code right. If you don't, just comment in the comments. Always willing to help. All right, until next time, strength and honor. May the light illuminate your kin. Cheerio.